Hi everyone, today I thought I would do a picture from this book. This is Minorizer de Europa by Rita Burma. I haven't done anything from here for ages for you guys, so I thought it would be fun. Um, I picked this page here, I thought it would be a nice one to do. Um, it is the um, Lisbon um, envelope page. On this side I did a sort of random colour of flowers. We might do something similar here. I'm going to be using my Colours Cause pencils that I had for my birthday. There are only 36, um, but that's great. I find a restricted colour can work quite well. So we're going to make a start. I'm just going to grab some pencils and uh, colour some flowers. I'm going to keep the whole of the page in shot just because I might forget to sort of move around the page really. I thought I would just um grab and go really this is a sort of orangey color it's number six they don't have names they have numbers they have a place where i could put my name but they don't have their own names now i'm battling with the sun a little bit today i'm not sure um whether it's going to shine across the page in a minute or not i've opened the blind because um it was a bit dark and uh it seems to be coming round again so uh, I'm just going to wait and see. So I don't know how these are going to work on this paper, having only used them a couple of times. I'm going to try and do them quite a solid layer. I think it might be quite nice. So that's that. Yeah, they're going down quite well, I think. Um, Rita's paper is really nice though, isn't it? Anyone who's got any of Rita's books will know. It's not quite as thick as Johanna Basford paper, but it is still really lovely. I'm not doing anything too fancy um, with this. I'm just uh, getting some colour down ready. I don't know how much of this page will get done. I, uh, I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> how long I can talk for really got a bit of a cold and sore throat at the minute so I've just had some water I'm out to stop for water um oh sun <laughs> I'm just going to shut the blind we'll let the camera will adjust and the light in a minute there we go um, it's very clever little kit. I uh, very lucky to have a nice setup. Someone was asking me actually about what I had um, recently, but uh, I've had to save up um, from money that I make through my channel. Um, I do have. I could have bought it um, out of savings, but I decided that it would make more sense to wait and see what I earned, and then use my earnings to I'm looking for a slightly darker color I'm going to go for a brown um, to darken this I'm going to use this one it's number 29 and I'm going to sort of put in some shadow um, yeah so I waited till I'd earned enough from my ads on my YouTube channel and then uh, bought this camera it's expensive and then um, also um bought another lamp for when I moved into this room because um I needed something in on my desk where I colour just for fun in the evenings and uh, and weekends and also out here in my recording room. So uh, I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm just adding a layer of darker colour just to try and make it look like there's some shadow in that centre. Now I've unfortunately gone all over the middle, but we're going to rectify that. We're going to do our middle with a start with a dark brown. I think that yeah, this is number thirty. Now this set um, is available on Amazon. Um, it's pretty cheap, and uh, I find it quite fun um, trying out the budget sets because. I know not everyone can afford the expensive ones and these are real 
um, budget I was given gifted these and I'm very grateful it's really lovely to have a chance to try out lots of different sets of pencils that maybe I wouldn't normally choose there we go now we do have our turned over leafy bits petal bits I should say just gonna fill that bit in that I've missed um, I think I'm gonna do them in a light layer of this this is the um, number six that we used for the original layer oh, that sun's in and out and in and out I don't know how my whether my camera and light are coping um, the blind is supposed to be a blackout blind but it isn't in the oh no that's not that plant is it done that wrong never mind let's grab an eraser hang on just clean the end this is Tombow Mono just see whether the pencil raises. Mm, not really. Never mind. We're we'll, um a little bit. We'll um we we'll use a uh, a different colour, <clears throat> a dark colour on that one, and then it will hide it. So I think I want to just burnish that a little bit. I'm going to use number four to burnish over this so that it it I just want it to be lighter than the rest. But I want to get rid of some of that paper showing through. So you can just use a lighter colour like that. Now we have to think about, are we going to do a completely random mix of colours? Or are we going to sort of t do just oranges? I haven't got a big range of oranges. So I think I'm just going to go random. So I'm just going to return the pencils I've used back into my box so that I don't get confused and then pick some more um, let's do this one in purples um, we've got a couple of really pretty ones here I'll start with number 14 and uh, colour this bit over like before a nice light layer you can see how pretty this is well, I think it is, anyway. There's some really pretty colours. Sometimes with cheap sets, you can tell that they might be a copy of another set. You know? Like, um, there's a recent set Artex have brought out, which would like Prismas, apparently. But um, with these, I really don't think they are. I um, don't know. They just seem to be their own thing. They also do a pastel set, which is really nice. I haven't brought those out today because I wanted this to be bold colours. And uh, I'm not sure what else. I haven't really looked into them massively. But as I say, you can see how vibrant that is with just one layer. I'm going to just layer it over again. So to only need a few layers, it's quite nice to get a decent um, colour. See, Rita's paper helps us. If you have more toothy paper, you would need more layers. But it's still nice and quick. We have an interesting centre on this flower. I've got a plan for that. Now the edges we did in a light layer, didn't we, on the last one? That's what I'm going to do here. That's why I chose this purple. It will hide that bit of orange where I went wrong. And then I'm going to use a darker purple to do a bit of um, shading. This is number 15. Just in case anyone is... Um, trying to colour along. It's quite a close shade but hopefully it's still enough to create a little bit of an image that there's some shadow going on. Whoops, I am not very good at not going over those round bits though. Probably because I haven't sharpened this one yet. But still it's sort of strange square shape from where it's new. Now we want a light colour to just burnish that edge. Um, 
I do have one light pink, which I think I use. Might be a bit too pinky. No, 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 I'm happy. That's okay, and it always sort of hides that orange quite well. The only sort of criticism I would have in this set is there isn't a ready red. Ready red? I don't know if that makes any sense. But um, one that's really um, red rather than pink or orange. But the Studler Ergosoft have that too. We're going to use number 16 to do the centre of this, to do the circles. It is a blue, not a purple, but I think it's okay. I need to sharpen it. It's quite difficult to uh, use with it. some um, square end. There we go. Um, yeah, Ergosofts in their 24 set don't have that sort of red. And I just used to mix the orangey red and the pinky red together to make a more mid-red. I suppose. So that's always an option available. Okay, now the centre of this I'm actually going to do in black. So um, it's number 34, the black. I'm just going to sharpen this as well. There we go. What I'm going to do is go all the way around the edge in quite a solid layer of black. And then just do less as I come in towards the middle. Try and get that central. Like that. Okay, now where should we go? We'll go to this one. I think we need to go to blue. Um, we have some darker blues and some greeny blues. Probably the darker blues are probably going to work better. Right, so I'm going to try number 17 to start with. So I hope everyone's doing well today. Um, do I have any news to share with you? Not really. I was hoping to spend go um, to the um, Slimbridge um, Wildlife Wetlands Trust, I think it's called. Wetlands Wildlife Trust, I don't know which way around it is and um, see they've got some baby shell ducks which are black and white they look they call them little humbug flutes and uh, see the baby nanes now they aren't quite so cute they nanes i always think look quite prehistoric um which obviously birds are which is quite fun and um there were lots of goslings as well hawaiian not no nanes are hawaiian um, the um, grey lag geese, lots of babies there, but um, unfortunately my children had so much homework that we couldn't go. I don't think my husband wanted to go either, so uh, he was relieved I think that we didn't go. So anyway, I was hoping, but uh, there we go. And uh, so we didn't go out, so I did lots of colouring instead, which of course is lovely. And I chatted to my parents and my sister on Sunday. We always have a family Skype session. We've done so since we haven't been able to... When we couldn't see each other, we used to do Skype. And we just kept it up, really, even though we do see each other at times. We don't see each other that often. Um, my parents are really about half an hour away, by car, maybe, by bus, train, whatever. Um, they, um, they've just they've just started feeling confident to go out again a little bit so they occasionally come and visit me which is really nice or well, they have done once lately I'm going to grab the darker blue which is the number 18 to do the sort of central bit like I did before um, my sister's visited a few times too she lives quite far away about takes us about two and a half hours to get to her house and she um, but she's has a shop and she's in the shop five days a week but including a Saturday which is of 
which is a day that we're free. We're free Saturdays and Sundays. My husband works five days a week, Monday to Friday. So it means that uh, we don't get to see her that often. Now there is a light blue, number 21, that I'm going to use for these edges. So I'm really following the same pattern for all these flowers, just with different colour. And uh, so we don't get to see her so often. Um, she runs a little vegan shop in Shrewsbury. She's really getting quite desperate for customers at the moment. So if anyone's in Shrewsbury and fancies a look, she doesn't just sell vegan food, although she does sell vegan food. There's also gifts, books and jewellery, um, key rings and different things. I'm just going to pop these pencils away but we do need to do the um, centre of this flower. Um, maybe we'll go slightly different with this one. Maybe we'll use a different blue for the circular bits. We'll use number 20. Um, so, oh, that's a pretty colour. Wow, look at that. Um, so, yeah, so I think a lot of retailers are struggling at the moment. So if you're... Um, I know most of you in America, but if you're near Shrewsbury, um, she's in the parade shops, they're called. It's in the old hospital, apparently. There we go. Okay. Now, we have got this one, and I'm thinking pink. Um, I'm trying to work out, I think these two are my pinks. They look quite reddish, but I know I don't have any red, so I think these... We obviously... Ooh, that's my elbow. <laughs> I used to really like pink here, but not. I don't want that light. So we're going to use number nine and hope it's pink on here. Yeah, look at that. Uh, hmm. Just trying to quite work out what's going on in the centre here. Trying to put down quite heavy layers here so that I don't have to redo it because I'm struggling to work out what's what. So I'll just get it done in a wanna. Mm. Yeah, I think a lot of people are at home this weekend, particularly on Saturday, because it's the FA Cup final. That's our the sort of biggest football match of the year, I guess, um, for English clubs. In that they do a sort of draw, every club plays each other, and then um, it's sort of knockout competition, I guess, I think. And uh, eventually you're left with two, and they play each other in the final and uh, so a lot of people um, get excited about watching that as you can probably tell I don't I like some football but not at league level I am when it's a World Cup I like I prefer to watch that sort of level of football and uh, that sort of thing and uh, sometimes if it's European football um, not if it's just teams, but if it's countries, you know, I don't really know the names of all the competitions or anything though, not very good. I know there's UEFA and Euros and things like that, I don't know which is which, really not, I'm not very good at football. My love is tennis and it's coming and Wimbledon is coming, which is very exciting. Now they start their matches not sure what time of the morning, but I will have to be recording early so I can edit while I'm while I'm watching, which is very exciting. Um, I'm going to try number um, oops upside down number ten for slightly darker areas. I said I wasn't going to do much here, but I'm not really. It's a bit darker in the middle. It's a bit of a different flower to the others. 
And I've got a bit of paper showing still, a bit of white. I'm not too worried about that. If you do get worried about that, you can use a um, burnisher or a blender. We're going to use number 12 again. We used it for these, but I think it'll work on here too. You can, as I say, you can use a burnisher or a blender to uh, to get rid of the white marks. I'm going to do the centre in this lighter colour. I think it's rather nice. And uh, yeah, it just it just pushes the colour into the paper a bit more and gets rid of them all for you. There we go. Now we have um, these sort of daisies type flower. I think they'd look quite nice in yellow. I'm going to use number um, four and I'm not going to do any, um, I'm just going to do quite a hard layer because if I try and fade yellow you just won't see anything. So I'm going to keep it, put it quite hard. Now I'm thinking a little bit about what colour this envelope is going to be that's in the background. And uh, hmm, we've got other elements as well. How are we doing for time? 21. I'm not sure whether we'll do a second video. I want to do all of this on video. I, mean, I might break it up into two if I think it's going on too long. We've got one here. We'll see. I do like Rita's flowers so bright and cheery. The way she colours them makes you want to do them bright and cheery. Um, the centres of those, we have this sort of um, peachy type colour. I think that might work. Number two. It's not that dark. I think it's fine. Okay. Now we have these flowers. Hmm, what colours have we got? We've obviously got lots of greens left, but um, I don't. I've got a few different blues, but I don't want to use them next to here. Or um, maybe, yeah. I've got this colour. I'm going to use this colour, number thirteen. Whoops. It's a sort of pinkish purpley colour. I'm going to try and fade it towards the edge a bit because I don't have another colour to sort of darken it with that I haven't already used. So just going to do this whole cluster the same. It's a pretty colour I think. Pinky purple. I don't know what you would call. I think they're often called purple. Castle Arts will call this a purple. I would say it was a pink. So. That's just me. It doesn't really matter, does it? So what shall I talk about? Hmm. Don't usually run out of things to talk about. So hmm. what my plans for colouring. I haven't really got any thoughts about I know what I'm doing for my afternoon videos for a little while, um, but not really for my mornings. So if there's anything in particular that you want me to do, let me know. Um, I might not be able to do everything, um, but uh, it's always nice to know what people are wanting to see, because it helps give me some ideas. Um, do you like shorter videos? longer videos, a how to do a specific thing video or just a colour and chat like this is. You know, what do you prefer? It's nice to know. Really. I've got to keep a bit of an eye on the time today. My um one of my sons has a half day today. So uh, he'll be home but not until one o'clock. So uh, I've got a while yet. I don't know what the time is though, I'm just going to check. It's ten past eleven. So I've got a while to go. Which is nice. I sort of, I like having him home. It's lovely. 
but uh, it's also nice having a bit of time to myself. I have my other son home all day on a Tuesday and that can be a bit stressful if he's got a lot of work to try and do and he's finding it hard which he was last week but he's done a lot of work over the weekend so I'm hoping that when he's off um, this week he won't be finding it tricky but we'll have to see I know he's got some computing work to do which he finds really easy and fun so that's a good start Right, for the centres of these, I think, hmm, I might go with the dark purple, I think, number 15. And yeah, they might then look a bit similar to this one, but you know, we're going to have a few similar colours. Oh, the sun's just gone in. Right, I just need to blow my nose and look at the other flowers we have left. Um, I'm wondering whether to do those two the same or different. I'm not sure. I think I'll do this one red. We've got a bit of red here. We'll do some more red. I've actually got an orange and a red that I haven't used. We use that up there. Oh, now I can't decide. I'm going to do orange for this one. <laughs> Changed my mind entirely. Number seven. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's very bright. It's a nice colour. I think what I'll do is I'll make that a bit darker at the base. And then use this colour for the stems of these as well. And then the other colour, which I think might be orangey, which is number eight, we use for the rest. I just give this sharpen. Gosh, it goes dark when the sun goes in. I hope the uh, camera is adjusting nicely for you. Because uh, my eyes are struggling to adjust. The sun's going in and out and in and out. So I'm trying to make it a little bit darker down here, just layering it up. And these circles are quite small, so I'm just going to block them in like that. Now we have this one down here, which I was thinking of doing red, but now I'm not because I've got orange and red there. Um, I'd quite like a pink. We've got that soft pink we haven't used. Maybe we'll use that, yeah. This is number 12. It's, it's the sort of soft pink, as I said going to do it all in this and then I'll see what to add after. Gosh it's getting dark now I can't see. <laughs> My lamp is on but uh, It should be adjusting. Okay, and I'm going to use this colour, which is whoops, number 11. We haven't used this yet to do some dark bits. It's quite a dark colour, so I'm going to sharpen it because I don't want to overdo it. I'm going to use it for these bits, and then just for a bit, really gently add in a bit of a darker tone to some areas. Yeah, I think that's okay. I quite like that colour. Right, so that's that. Now what I'm going to do, with 29 minutes, I'm going to cut off now and come back and make the rest a second video for tomorrow just because I don't want to go over and um, go too long in a day and uh, bore you all to death so I'm going to stop now and we'll come back and we'll do the greenery the envelope 
and the butterfly and the berries and things like that okay so thank you today for watching um i hope that was okay i am going to add some white dots and details on these flowers and things like that as well once i finish so like i did on this side so there'll be that to see as well tomorrow but thank you for watching and as i say tune in tomorrow please and you'll see the rest but for now thank you for watching and have a lovely day happy coloring